Today I'm going to show you how I built this light box. I started with a sheet of 3mm white MDF. I cut this with the veneer side down to make removing the piece easier as hot glue tends to bind with MDF. I removed the old end mill and put in a new double flute upcut bit. I'm not too concerned with the surface finish as everything will be sanded and painted anyway. I zeroed the bit and switched on the CNC. I put on safety goggles, earmuffs and a dust mask. Despite having a dust extractor, a mask is recommended when working with MDF as it is a carcinogen. I ran the machine operation over the letters again because variations in the bed height meant some letters didn't cut the whole way through. I used an off cut to make some cleaner insides for the letter B and D. Sanding all parts was necessary prior to painting. Several coats of matte black spray paint were applied, which hid the sandpaper marks the best. I made the box frame from DAR pine by using 45 degree mitre joints. While the slide saw is out, I used the slit and flip method to cut the back side of the box. I laid out the box sides and selected some batten screws to clamp the sides while the glue dried. Securing the pieces to the workbench proved a good method to drill and screw the sides together without getting in the way like a frame clamp would. I checked the frame for square and the miters are accurate. I glued the back piece on the frame. A router with a flush cut bit was used to remove overhang. It's always a good idea to cut sheets too large and trim them later to ensure a snug fit. The inside of the box was lined with aluminium foil to ensure even lighting. 12 volt warm white LEDs were selected for this project. When powered up with the bench power supply, they draw two amps at 12 volts. I purchased some A4 Perspex sheets. Cutting this stuff is a pain, so I tried to score it and snap it like glass. It didn't fracture cleanly. These pieces are still usable because they'll be hidden anyway. I removed the protective backing from the Perspex and stuck it to the MDF with hot glue. To reduce the opacity of the clear blue, some baking paper was stuck to the Perspex with cyanoacrylate glue. I found an old power supply which is capable of supplying 30 watts of power. A hole was drilled for the power supply's cable to fit through and a knot was tied in this lead to keep it in place. The power supply cable was soldered to the LED strips and heat shrunk to keep it from shorting out. A test power-up proves the wiring is good, so I start attaching the front panel. Pilot holes are drilled and cap screws hold the front down. Picture wire is secured to the frame for hanging the sign. You don't have to use this for a logo sign like I have. You could put clear perspex in the front and use it for tracing or to display photographs. It would also make a great soft light for filming videos.